It was in late July of 1840, nearly two centuries ago, when the very first Surrey Fair was held on Long Beach in Surrey. Farmers gathered for a livestock show, buying and selling their prize animals for shillings and pence. The fair eventually moved off the beach and onto its own grounds. The event, now known as the Eastern Kings Exhibition, can lay claim to being the oldest fair on Prince Edward Island. The first fairgrounds were just outside the windows of the local elementary school. Waldron Laird was a student at that school then, and he remembers the excitement of Exhibition Day. I remember quite well, especially grade four, five, and six, because the window in Mrs. Bruce's class and the window in Mrs. McDonald's class, which was up on the top floor, faced right onto the grounds. And Exhibition Day, <laughs> Uh, there wasn't a whole lot that got done in the mornings because everybody was looking at the window what was going on. Well, you were smelling manure, <laughs> but you were also seeing people getting set up, people bringing their animals and getting them ready. You'd see the exhibition people getting the show rings ready. The exhibition was a one-day affair, held on Wednesday afternoons when the stores were closed, and it was a very big deal for local farmers. It was uh, sheep, there was uh, swine, um, tons of cattle uh, from probably as far away as Greenwich, Bobby Rossiter. Um, there were all manner of horses, and you weren't supposed to get in the show rings or anything, but you went to watch what was going on. The exhibition has attracted huge crowds. This 1957 poster is proof. At just 50 cents for admission, the event was able to award $2,500 in prize money. That would be over 20000 in today's dollars. Lois McGinnis is treasurer of the exhibition. She says livestock was important, but so were the crafts, displays, and food competitions be the best apple pie or it might be the best um, jam or whatever and there'd be a $50 prize, the best chowder, there'd be a bigger prize for that. One thing that was a big deal too was when the, the winners of the prizes would be printed in the Guardian. That was a big deal because somebody that wouldn't get their name in the paper any other year but all of a sudden they won grand champion. That spirit of excitement will continue to grow, says Exhibition President Melvin Ford. It's a celebration of island culture that dates back to a time before Canada was even born. We have to be promoters of, of what we have in our own area. We, you know, we have to carry on the tradition that our parents and our grandparents and our great-grandparents held for years. Our main industries are, are um, fishing, farming, and so the Eastern Kings Exhibition was put in place, as far as I'm concerned, to bring awareness to what, we, to what we have in our own area. And so it's more important for us now to focus even more to make people aware that this is, this is still part of our economy. You know, this is, this is the driving force behind our community. Mm -hmm.